Good morning, YouTubers and Tubats. Today is Friday, January 18, 2013. It's early in the morning. I'm going to the meal for today, but I'm going to do a quick recap for Monday through Thursday. Monday was an excellent day. I got 15 TTMs in and one purchase. Tuesday, I think I got one in. Wednesday, I got two in. And yesterday, I got a whole bunch more in. I didn't even count them. But I do want to first start off, um, last night I saw a video of a, a new YouTuber, uh, Famous Autographs. I quickly watched it. Um, I'm looking forward to what he's going to be doing. I understand that he said he took him a few takes to get his first video up there. And as a new guy myself, I only got about 20 videos for over the last couple of months. I know it's like to start off and um, try to grow an audience and uh, get some subs out there. But uh, everyone go check him out. I will be checking out his website probably when I'm done with this and I'll upload it. But um, I'm looking forward. I hear Zane talked about his customs on his website of how awesome they look. I'm looking forward to looking at them. I love custom stuff and uh, anything that gets signed that's custom and unusual, I like a lot. All right, so I got that out of the way. Let's start off with, um, I'm just going to do the first thing I got in was my purchase. Uh, it was an eBay purchase. This is um, a card that I bought Titus Welver. He was the man in black from Lost. I'm a huge Lost fan, so anytime I can pick up... Oh, that glib, the living hay out of it. Um, let's see if I can get it out of the package for you. I didn't even think about the glare. I paid about $4 with the shipping on this. Wow, reflect really bad. Yeah, just look at the autograph. Now look at the guy. You know who he is. He's the man in black. Jacob's brother. He was also in a great uh, Boston movie, The Town. It was John Hamm's um, right-hand man in the FBI. All right, so let's go through my pile here. I'm going to try and do this fast because there's a whole bunch. This one took 61 days. I sent these cars cards out, and I got them in. This is signed by Paul Dooley. He was the voice of Sarge. He was also in, I mostly know him by, is he was in Popeye with Robin Williams. Next, I'm going to be opening these up kind of as I go. This took 155 days for him, Red Sox. Small guy, only at 5'9", and a little pop in his bat, but a great defensive second baseman, Mr. Joey Reed. Now with the Dodgers, he's doing something in the Dodgers organization, signed... I gotta work on my focus and sorry again. Two and he signed three. No, there's a quick sign. I'm surprised it took so long on that one. Next, this one took 12 days. It's a small card. These are 1984 Flair stickers. This is Paul Wade. Sign that one. I bought a box of these a long time ago and my kid's been rifling through it, opening it up, gives them something to collect, and I saw him, and I said, oh, let me just send that out. This one took 12 days, always a great signer, signed his minor league cards, Skeeter Barnes, signed one, signed another one of those, and another minor leaguer. So, I am officially out of Skeeter Barnes cards, he signed for me multiple times. Next, is a failure for Dennis Little John. I sent this to him a year and a half ago. He sent me back the flyer for Chris Potter Sports. Chris Potter Sports, if you're looking for an oddball guy's build sets, go to his website. He does about 70 signings every three months. Travels around the country, gets anything you want signed. Relatively cheap, but it's guys that you normally can't get. Just like, I got these I got to send to him that are due in a week. My Steve best friend best ring, uh, Cyan, my upper deck cards. I have 28 cards left in the 91 upper deck. I got, he's gonna be getting two of these signed for me. Uh, 20 bucks a card though. But I don't care, I wanna get the set done. Like I said, 28, I'll put it down to 26, which would be great. But it took a year and a half for him to send me a flyer, so he must have came across his mail. Next, normally an awesome, awesome signer, Mr. Milt Pappas, didn't sign. Again, I got the Chris Potter Sports Flyer. I got two of those in the same day, which is kind of unusual. 
Whenever you do a signing for Chris, you don't do any TTMs until after. Next, this is coming from the Chicago Cubs, which I was very surprised when I opened this. I tried to get him, set my face back, uh, about four times, never got him when he was with the Red Sox. Now that he's with the Cubs, I finally got my card back signed, Mr. Theo Epstein. Uh, sorry, Theo Epstein. Now they dish the Red Sox for the Cubs. Personalize that one. Which, like I said, I, when he was with the Red Sox, I sent him a few times, never got anything. Finally got him. Alright, next. This is, I'm going to do a bunch of operation CEOs. i got a whole bunch of cards in. This one is coming from Norfolk Southern. I was a finance major in college, graduated with finance. So looking up all these companies and seeing them, what they did, what they do. Let me just fix my pile here. What they did and uh, seeing who's a member of Fortune 500 was very interesting for me. This is coming from CW. Mormon, Mormon, sign that one, sent me a nice little note, thanking me for a request. Next, we got another one from Coca-Cola. There's two guys that sent to Coke, one was Coke Enterprises, and one was just Coke. I got a letter back in 30 days, basically just saying you can buy merchandise at their website. That's it. No mention about a business card, who I actually sent it to, was just passed off and said, go to the website, buy some cool products. Next, this took seven days. This is from Fortune 500 Company, number 228. And if you notice, sent me a nice letter from eBay. It says, per your request, I have enclosed a signed business card from John. Best wishes, probably from this personal assistant. John Donahue, eBay, Inc. Everyone loves eBay. That's why I do 95% of my purchases from eBay. I don't know why I put that back in. I'm going to organize these after. Next. Took 21 days. Number 45 on the Fortune 500 from Excelon. Christopher Crane. CM Crane. Next. Seven days. Number 209 from Co Edison, Kevin Burke. I sent these out in big lots, 100, 120 at a time. So a lot of these came in all at the same time. This one took 30 days. This is number 35 on the list from Home Depot, Francis S. Blank. This is number 265. This took seven days. This is coming from Air Products. John McLade. Yeah, I'm going to let it focus right in there. This one, seven days. It took 160, uh, number 162 on the list. Number seven. Sent me a nice note. It says, please find the enclosed uh, card signed by J. Michael Laura, CEO and President of, I believe it's Computer Science Company, CSC. And I sign J. Michael Laurie. That was from his executive assistant, Jacqueline Scott, I think it was. Alright, back to hockey. This took 12 days. This is referee, Don Marharskinski. Oh, come on, baby. Come in. Find my, uh, referee card. Next. Took 189 days. Basketball. Signed to Andy. Kendall McGill. And he sent me a, a card to, to check him out on egrass.com. So let me know how you feel about e-graphs. I know a lot of people are mixed. This took eight days. Number 225 on the list. Thermal Official Scientific. Mark and uh, Casper. Just signed it. Mark. 
This one took 56 days. Now uh, the hockey. Mark Bellows. Sorry, let me move back. Mark Bellows. Let me move my fingers out of the way. Mark Bellows. Okay, I'm trying to speed this up, guys. He signed one. And believe me, he signed two of the same guy. Over 10 minutes. I'm going to try and speed this up. Uh, it took 455 days. This guy's always notorious for being wicked slow. Mark Numson. Sign one. Sign two. Usually when I get one back, I don't know. I usually send one out about six months apart. Next, this one, number, this took 10 days, number 183 on Fortune 500. This is Richard Drilling. Um, oh, sorry. Dollar General. I'm almost there, I got two more. Next, 20 day return. This is number 138, Nucor. This is signed by Daniel DiMarco. Signed it as Chairman, President, and CEO card. Then he sent another one, just as Executive Chairman. Then he sent another one as Chairman and CEO. So, sent me three cards. Which is great. Take all three. Next, this one is the last one. I think this took seven days. And I actually got a really nice typed sign letter from this individual, which I'll read to you because it kind of, I kind of liked it. This is coming from John Jumper. S. Asic. This, I don't know what they do, unfortunately. I have to look this one up again. But he sent the letter. It says, Dean Randy, I feel privileged that you asked for my autograph business card. I am happy to add it to your collection. After 21 years, you must have quite an assortment of cards. I imagine you've gotten some very interesting cards. What a fun hobby. You know, that just shows he actually read my letter. And uh, he probably has never been asked or very rarely been asked for someone to sign his card. So I'm glad that probably Brian is day up. Oh, if he's having a tough day. And Brian up his day. Oh, I'm sorry. That took 10 days. Number 245 on the CEO list. Um, hopefully it Brian up his day that, you know, someone actually asked for his autograph. And then if I was running a Fortune 500 company and someone asked for my autograph, I'd be kind of flattered. All right, so that's it. Uh, i got to get the mail for today, then head off to work. I'm running a little behind today. So uh, hope everyone has a great day. Again, check out Famous Autographs on YouTube and encourage them to uh, make more videos. And check out his website. I think it's famous-autographs.com. I'm going to go check it out now. All right, have a good day, everyone.